Stop thinking everyone wants good for you. The reason a lot of you are failing is because you keep telling people your business. Jealousy is an insidious, deadly emotion, and it dwells in the hearts and minds of your family and friends. Some of you don't have jobs because you keep telling everyone that you have an interview coming up. Let me explain. See, when you tell the wrong person your good news, it could be about your business, about your job, your finances, something. They can get very jealous. And when they get jealous, they then begin to attract demonic spirits. See, on one hand, the Lord looks after his word to perform it. That's in Jeremiah 1.12. But on the other hand, the enemy, who is the opposite of the Lord, looks after his word to perform it as well. So if you speak words of evil, words of disaster, words of envy and jealousy, he's looking to perform these words. See, you must understand that jealousy is an emotion. And emotions are more than what you think. Emotions are energy in motion, right? The English language, you have to break down each word. Jealousy is in action, just as the emotion of love is in action. It is energy in motion. What happens when someone performs an action? We can look to Newton's third law for that. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? So something has to happen from that emotion. I would rather someone be angry with me than jealous, for it's written, wrath is cruel, anger is overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? So you may be thinking, I can trust my homegirls, I grew up with them, over 20 years we've been friends. No, you can't. Oh yeah, me and my boys been tight since middle school, it doesn't matter. Oh. See, the thing is, most of you haven't done enough to trip people's jealousy, right? When you do this, when you start achieving higher and higher things, you'll find people's true colors begin to come out. That's not to say that there aren't people who want good for you in this life, because there are, but they're the exception to the rule. See, you don't have to take my word for it. Proverbs 17, 28. Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent be quiet see in america we like to talk but a lot of cultures around the world keep a culture of keeping the most important things quiet until they're actually done right like my mother right she's from zimbabwe and um she would always when she'll go back visit um visit home she would dress up in like poor clothes rags right so people wouldn't get jealous there's certain things that you hold on to certain pieces of information that you keep quiet until you fulfilled it or you've actually completed it right don't let everyone know things some people hide their pregnancies they will not let you know why because there are some people that want to curse your pregnancy just because they wanted the baby with that man or they haven't had that child yet or they've passed that point in life people have a myriad of reasons some of them stupid and inconsequential but whatever it is whether you may think that reason is dumb they still believe it and they're spewing jealousy some are doing actual curses so please i implore all of you be quiet just keep yourself to yourself or a very very trusted people myself personally i will tell i tell this woman everything because we work on things together as a team i trust her as my wife um we've been together now married for 10 years so I trust it, right? There are exceptions to the rule. There, are, You should be able to trust that your spouse will not get jealous, right? And my dog is privy to my information. But <laughs> I kid, but in reality, the Lord says there's a time to tear, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak. I maintain that the time to keep silence is before you have accomplished the task. Ask after you are done, then go ahead and speak about the matter, but don't gloat. Bragging has brought more people down than you can imagine. Uh, there's a reason that uh, scripture says that we are only to boast in the Lord, right? See, when you keep telling people your business, keep telling people your information, you are um, not only invoking jealousy, but you're invoking those you're giving. Pe there's no need for a monitoring spirit dealing with you if this is how you act. Uh, if you tell everyone everything, you don't need to be monitored. If someone wants to come and curse you or try to, uh, someone is in the dark arts, right, in the occult, and they want to um, mess with you, uh, it won't be hard to put different spells on you, to hex you, etc. because you're too open. You're letting everything out in the open. I know who you are, I know, um, I don't know what you're about to do, what your future plans are, etc. Mum's the word, the wise move in silence, right? Um, anyway, God, bless. please understand that I'm not speaking on the jealousy that sprouts from love. This is like God being jealous for us. That is a good um, jealousy or a husband and wife as they love one another, being jealous for one another. 
Uh, this I'm speaking on is demonic evil jealousy. Bless you all and have a good day.